ohm's law the experiment begins by plugging the key so we have plugged the key but still there is no movement here this is because the circuit is open what i have done i have taken a connector and this end the conducting end will be connected with the positive terminal of the battery by miss pradhan so you can see current flowing which is recorded in the ammeter and the potential difference getting recorded in the voltmeter now miss pradhan would help me in doing the same experiment with two cells that means we are changing the potential difference we are doing it in a crude manner but you have to appreciate that we are doing it in a very simple manner that is our objective so you see the current has now got changed the potential difference has also now got changed we'll record that and we'll do the analysis and then we'll be doing it with three cells in series so we are further changing the potential difference and trying to note the flow of current so now she had held the three cells in series and the potential difference has got changed the current has got changed and our objective was to study the variation of v with i v is the potential difference i is the current we have taken three readings during the first reading the potential difference was 1.1 volt the current reading was 0.5 ampere in the second case the potential difference was 2 volt the current recorded was 0.95 ampere in the third case the potential difference recorded was 2.65 volt and the current recorded was 1.25 ampere so we ask you to take proper care of this sources of error and perform the experiment with a few more observations we have taken here three observations but you take 5 8 10 observations more the number of observations it would be better and include all the points in the graph so that if there is any variation you are in a position to interpret the reason behind that so thereby we complete our discussion on the experiment of verification of ohm's law dear learners we shall learn to determine the diameter of a given wire using a screw gauge you have learned the use of vernier calipers and there you would recall the least count was 0.01 cm now for measuring the diameter of a wire like this well perhaps you cannot use the calipers it would be inconvenient to hold this object between the jaws of the calipers so here we use a screw gauge and we'll see that the least count of this device is less than that of a vernier calipers so this is your screw gauge now the objectives of this experiment you will know how to determine the least count of the screw gauge that is the least distance that can be measured by this device then we will be able to measure the diameter of a wire using the screw gauge you will be able to determine the zero error and adjust your final result in accordance with that so now first let us see the device here you have a screw you can see the turns of the screw these are the turns of the screw which you can see on your screen and the screw can be rotated this is in the clockwise sense and as you see from this side and this is in the counter clockwise sense now once you rotate clockwise the head of the screw is moving towards this jaw now you come to the actual part of the experiment that is measurement of the diameter of this wire 
and this wire as I have mentioned earlier may not be uniform throughout, it has non-uniformity. So, the measurement has to be done at several places. So, you hold it between the two jaws. So, what I have actually done, I have kept it between the jaws and then with the help of the circular scale, I have made it stand tight. The length to be measured that is the diameter of the wire is between the jaws. So, the length between the jaws is equal to the diameter of the wire and you take the reading, I take the reading, it comes to linear scale reading is 0 that is 0 millimeter and the circular scale reading is 53 divisions. So, 53 divisions is equal to 53 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.53 millimeter. So, 0 plus 0 0.53 it is 0 0.53 millimeter. Finally, when you are going to measure the diameter, do it at as many number of places, try for 10 places and take the average that would neutralize the personal error as well as the error due to the non-uniformity of the wire.